Right, today's video, Matt has managed to source from a Twitter follower, so I don't actually know his handle, but thank you for allowing us to borrow his five degree Callaway driver. So Bryson's using a five degree Cobra driver. Cobra are very kind, they tried to get me one, but they've only got one spare one on the tour truck, and that's for Bryson. He's got two heads, I think, the one spare, because they're specially made for him. Because as you can imagine, no one else is gaming this kind of loft. So we took this five degree head onto the golf course. It should be fun. Right, it's a little bit wet. The game we're gonna play, Matt's just getting some balls. We've got the five degree driver and our wedges. Cause obviously it's just all bomb and gouge and all that kind of stuff. Driver wedge, driver wedge. Um, we've got our wipes because we're gonna be passing the club between our, each other. So we'll wipe it down between each shot. Um, we're using our own wedge, our own balls. Play a few holes. Can we keep this club on the fairway? We're probably going to play three holes. I've bought five balls. Right, Matt's going first before he wipes the club down. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to carry this shorter than my normal driver. This is a dog leg left with bunkers to carry. You're going to try and go over them, are you? I'm going, oh, to... I'm going to go over them. This is Bryson Golf. It is. You've got a bomb it, you? Okay, let's I'm go for it. I'm going hit up a lot and I'm expecting a bit of a cut. Are you expecting to hit this planet <laughs> or not? <laughs> I feel like I have to bomb it too, this. this yeah, lot. there's no pat pat with this, is there? No. Oh, oh, that is low. Oh, oh. That is not going to be a driver and wedge of you. No. We got through. It did get through. So the game is you get two shots on every hole. It's Who's closest to the hole? I use my own tee. Okay. Who's closest to the hole after a drive and a wedge? Okay. <laughs> Wipe that club down. Oh my word, lost. Where are you? This is like the perfect like teaching aid for someone that hits down, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try get. I do that with students. Yeah. They go Re high lofts. I go lower. Reverse Quite fit. Quite often wonder with some custom fits. It's like. Yeah. That club's gonna make them worse. Yeah, yeah. You, I know it gives you better on your fit. Yeah. They got no growth in that club. Nope. The constant battle with fitters, that. Ah, oh, this is not getting over anything, is it? Oh, I've ripped it. <laughs> it's a, it's up the right. It's up the right at the post, your usual usual spot. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, good. Good job. Fairway. Bryson! Like, if I can get over the tree though, I reckon I could hit my 52 further than you. <laughs> <laughs> Not there, my longest drive. It's around 150 on the angle, downwind. He could get on the green here still, but obviously this is not, this is not where Bryson would be. 52 degree wedge. So we've both got 52s. Bomb and gouge, Matt. No skill in this, bruh. <laughs> No skill. I draw We're going to prove two. we've got no skill. Draw. Yeah, it's trying. I'm one-handed camera, so bear with me. Oh, yeah. Is that kicked on? Uh, it's just missed right of the green. Well done. I need to get inside that then. Ah, uh, bomble. I reckon it's just a nice 52. Yeah, you're perfect. You just need to hit the green, basically. Fairway count 1 0. Yeah. Green and red count coming up too. Ah, oh, Bryson, here I come. It might even be harder for us to use this club in the wet too. Yeah, I agree. So, I agree. We've picked a cracking day for it. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Oh, he's pushed it. If yeah, that gets a bad bounce. bounce. Kick left a little. Oh, it kicked left. That's going to be good. Oh, that's such a good bounce. In you go. It's short, but it's good. Ah, he's short, bitter. Good bounce. It's all just bomb and gouge with me now, Matt, because I, you know, because I'm like, whoo, 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 eh? <laughs> right, Matt was pin high, but someone's closer. I am one up, Bryson. Good bounce, Bryson. Thanks, Bryson. This bit's irrelevant, obviously. There's no skill to any of this bit. No Pick it up. It's just all about the five degree driver. Right, one up, sir. I'm not really feeling this one. No, this is narrow towards I the green. I've got to get over these trees. 
I am cutting it out of bounds here very easily. And this is what I feel with, do you take the loft off, it now starts feeling like a driver off the deck to me. Yeah. Because you're taking my launch away and I haven't got the speed. I wonder how much he feels like that or is it just the equivalent, it's just the loft he needs for the delivery. He's, he's presenting. It's the, the loft is irrelevant, it's relevant to him. Yeah. Does that make, I think. Yeah. You know, I've got an eight and a half in my Zexio, but if, if they made a six and it went the right height, I'd use a six. Yeah, yeah. And if yeah. it didn't go as far, I would use the eight. It is, yeah. We're just too weak. Oh, can I get over them? <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. Yes. Oh, that's a great drive. Hey there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's bouncing. Yeah, oh. that's good. Has that gone through the green? Mm, oh. Through the fairway. I've left my balls in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Bryson 140 mile an hour swing. Speed. Yeah, this is the one. You've got the pins for the speed, sir. I'm only 122 though, 23. Come on. Oh yeah. It's gonna oh. get caught up in the trees, but that's a ripper. That's a, that's a knuckle. That's a knuckle. That's a Bryson. Ripper knucks. His mat. It's now a pitching game. Someone's done him. You oh, I have done him by five. You've had a two bounces so far. <laughs> one on the fairway, one on the green, the last hole. <sighs> Pitch it close. Got to start, that's 52 is how that's over the, what was that it? I think that's it, the down slope on towards the green. Oh, you're full of bad luck today, Bryson. Another bad bounce for me. Ah, oh, Bryson long drive, just got it the green, really. Yeah, like this is further up the right than what you normally are. Like towards the hole, I mean. What do you mean? You know, you're like normally back under them. Uh, not with this wind, I would, no. I, like the other day I was there, but it was not wet. Mm, okay. I would put this, I think when we look at the numbers, we're going to go inside and show you the numbers as well in a second. I think it's going to roll more but carry less. Yeah. So obviously, subject to what you're trying to get out of each hole, roll yeah. or carry, it'll flip and you know move around. But it's a drive and a wedge. Trouble is, he's playing 470 up, <laughs> not 360, isn't he? <laughs> oh, Bryson, wrecking golf. Yeah. No skill in that. That is so unskillful, that no one. No skill in that one. Oh, that moves on more than I thought as well. Skid and run. No skill in that. But I think I'm two up with one to go, Bryson. Uh, well done, Bryson. We have a long drive up the last, didn't we? Yeah, a couple. Some one Bryson's going to have to walk over the back with his wipes. That's what I bit. You should wipe up your bad bounces, sterilise them, Matt. <laughs> Two up, one to go. I miss greens normally, so this is no different. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we're just going to do two balls, longest drive. That greenkeeper needs to not be there. He needs to move. Because I am dipping that right into his grill. He's just sticking a post in, actually. Yeah. I think he's hiding. I think he knows. <laughs> you can use? Yeah, I think he knows what's oh, going on here. Oh, this, I can how much is that piece of kit I'm just about to smash it? <laughs> I've hit a tractor before. <laughs> oh, it's a low oh, runner. Spinned it. Low rumble. Get out of the rough. Should we hit two? You're hitting two, are we? Yeah, yeah, two. Point for each. Oh, is that where you want to do it? Well, you're tuning it up. I've got to get a win somehow. Okay. Not just pick your best. Oh yeah. That's not cut. That's like, oh, close. <laughs> that nearly hit him. Yeah, that, that moved at the end there. It went way right. Yeah, yeah, it? I was looking left of him and it finished right. Not my best hits, let me wipe the cup. Right in it. Oh, that's out of the course. Get out. Stay. Get out of the course. That's Tangling, if findable. 
Down yeah, the you got, and that's the thing, isn't it? It don't take much of a slight wobble on the strike, and it's punishing you. Woohoo! No skill in this, though. No skill in that. Oh. Big pressure now. <laughs> that was close, though. Yeah, that wasn't far off. Oh, that's further out of the course. That's, that's out of the course. I I'm think, having another Yeah, game. you got four balls. <laughs> Just get rid of them all. Stay left. Stay. You've got to aim at that green and just smash it. That's not it in fairway, is it? No. No. No, that's dipping. No. Stay there. Oh, stay! Yeah, the wind's gonna hit that. Oh, yeah, as. God, that. No skill in this. No skill. It's just too easy. You it's just smash too... it out there and it'll wedge you. Yeah, it's too, easy. too easy. No skill. Why go to the gym? Pointless. Right, a winner, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. A winner. So I've only got three in the course. You had one in a ditch. One in a ditch that he's hooked out. I have one left, which I went and got. One short of my other two there. That's a good 30 yards short of this one, isn't it? Yeah, and my ones are there and there. So, How many have you got in the course? Three. You've got three too. Oh, so it's a draw, but you've won on the longest drive. Well done. Let's go and look at these numbers then. What actually is this club doing? Right, I'm first up on the numbers. You definitely are not looking at much loft with this. I'm going to hit a series with the Bryson Club, and then I hit a series with mine just to show you if there's any difference. Wish me luck. Oh, that is a bit of a high toe. Yeah, that is not going to have much spin on it. I do feel like I have to smash this to get anything out of it. Oh, line ball, nearly. Got that higher on the face. That is going to be dippy. Look at it go. That is not in the air. <laughs> oh, it's straight. That is literally taking heads off. Right, so I'm now going to hit seven shots with my driver just to give you a comparison of the numbers. looks so high now compared to what I was just looking at. I feel so much more I can do stuff with this club. I've got one shot with the five degrees. There we go, one, five, seven. By far my fastest, I've just got to hit it what feels like down here. Absolutely feel I can do so much more, obviously with my club, it's lighter, it's got loss, so I feel I can take it off, I can add it, I can hit different shapes. Um, let's see how it really does change on the data. Right, we're going to do a compare between the two. So ball speed slightly quicker with the Zexio, which is what I would imagine. Also, the shot shape's interesting. The average is left with the Zexio, the yellows, where I do feel more cutty when you take the loft off. Look at the difference in spin. 2,000 average with the Zexio, obviously that's custom fit for me. 1-3 with the 5 degree, it's just... You know, it's, it's, I need more speed for that club. It shows you what he's doing is so good. And then the carries, 275 average to 259. Even though the total distances aren't that different because obviously you've got lower spin, lower launch, lower height shots. Um, yeah, efficiency with the two clubs very similar. So the head speed with the Zexio is faster because it's lighter. Dynamic loft presented, look at the difference. 18 with my Zexio to 14 with the five degrees and then look at the strikes in the top right hand corner there as well i'm just literally doing everything i can to get that ball in the air let's see what matt does 
Right, I am going to start with my Maverick driver for my first seven, because I feel like five degrees needs a little bit more oomph about it. I reckon they'll be further than Mark's, but definitely not as straight. <laughs> Little toe side that one, but felt a bit meatier. Right, the Bryson five degree. -er. As soon as I look down at that, I'm instantly thinking hit up as much as possible. Otherwise this is worm ball. There is not a lot of face down there that I can see. It also makes me feel like I need to smash it. That didn't feel like a cut, to be honest. But that is out there. Woo -hoo. Get up! <laughs> Get up! <laughs> that felt good. It's only carried 260. Oh, I literally can't get this in the air. Come on. See, it's hard to stop that going to the right. Oh no, that's the one that, oh God. That's the other fairway birdie ball, I reckon. Right, let's compare. Ball speeds, pretty much exactly the same. 166 for the Maverick, 166.7 for the uh, five degree. I'm actually launching the five degree a degree higher. That's impressive to show how people react to certain lofts and how they did want to deliver that club. Backspin, one five with the five degree, super low and you'll get those dippy ones out the air there. And two two backspin for the Maverick, which is about right. Carrying um, two eight three for the Maverick, which is further than the five degree at two seven eight totaling at slightly more with the five degree launching, but the back spin is gonna make that ball roll a bit more. Club data, smash efficiency with the Maverick higher, which I'd expect. And looking at the club head, one, two, two with the five degree and one eighteen for the Maverick. And as I said, I would feeling that I wanted to swing this five degree harder, and I am, I'm pretty much maxing that out at one, two, two. Dynamic loft the same. Um, and yeah, angle of attack slightly different too with the Mavericks only 1.7 up, 3.5 up with the five degree again, showing me reacting. And if we go back to the ball, um, epic fl flash, five degree fading more on um, average and my maverick drawing is what I want to see more. Interesting numbers. There we go. I hope that gives you an idea of what he's doing. Um, it's so impressive what Bryson is doing to be able to control that level of speed with this loft for it all to tie in and him compete and compete at a higher level than what he was already competing at, which was a high level and win with this technique is just showing you a shifting it on how people are thinking they should attack, um, which is great and fun to watch. And B, it's just so much fun to watch someone push themselves physically loft wise, physically body wise to such an extreme to try and get better. I just find it so exciting. The fact that I can't hit that five degree driver, the fact that I haven't got the speed makes me want to try harder, even now. Just imagine if I was a 14, 13, 15 year old budding young golfer like I once was, I would look at this and think, I've got to be able to do this. This is a skill that he is using and others have used similar skills like Tiger pushed it on, Jack hit it miles. Why we forgot that Jack hit it miles? There was an era of coaching, I think we just got it so wrong, but that's another video. I, it would make me so upset that I wasn't able to, or I'm not able to do what he can do. And it would make me want to practice harder, work out harder, become a better athlete at the end of the day.
post comments down below. How do you reckon you would go with a five degree driver? What do you think of what Bryson is doing? Is it great? Is it awful? What would, let me know in that comment section down below. Let's not go back. Let's try not to get bogged down in the Bryson chat. I don't care if you like him or hate him. I, I don't care. You think of what you want to think of someone you've never met, whatever. That's your opinion. And I'm not fussed about that. I'm more fussed about what do you think about what he's doing and the skill level it takes. Like, is it does it make sense how hard it is to do what he's doing or not? I'd love to hear down there. Let's just not go down the... I don't really care what you think of him, personally. 